Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install eFootball 2025 from Microsoft Store or if you are unable to install it from Xbox app, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run gaming services repair tool. Now for this, you can go to Xbox app on the top left here. You can see your profile icon, click on it. Now go to support and then click on gaming services repair tool. Click on start repairing, click on yes to allow and let the process complete. Once this is done, you can close this and then check. Still not working. In that case, you can just type in gaming services repair tool in Google search and you can go to Microsoft website which says Xbox support gaming services repair tool for PC. Click on it and then expand this downloadable version and then scroll down and over here you can see download the gaming services repair tool for PC. Click on it and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and then let the process complete. Once you see completed successfully, now you can check. Still you are facing the problem. The next step is to log out and log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app. So go to Microsoft Store on the top right here. You can see a profile icon. Click on it. Then click on sign out and then click on sign in. And then select the same account. Select the right account which has the game pass. So make sure that you select the correct account over here. Now, once you enter the account, now you have to enter your password or pin over here. Now, once you're logged in, now go to Xbox app and then again on the top left, click on your profile icon, click on sign out and then click on sign in, sign in. And then you have to select the same account which you have selected in Microsoft Store. So you have to log in with same account, click on continue. And then once you're logged in over here, now you can check. Now still you're facing the problem. The next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So you can open Windows settings and then go to go to time and language and then go to date and time. Make sure set time zone automatically is on over here. Also make sure set time automatically. Both are on over here and then click on sync now on the bottom here. You can see sync now option. Click on sync now and once the sync is done. Now you might receive some errors or red red error. In that case, you have to click on sync now once again. Try it multiple times. Once the sync is done, now you can go to time and language once again and then go to language and region and make sure your country, your country is selected over here. Now you can check. Now the next step is to go to Microsoft Store library and try installing from Microsoft Store library. Now if you are trying to install the game from Xbox app, in that case you can open Microsoft Store and on the bottom left here you can see library option. You will find your game over here. Now if you see your game over here in front of it, you will see install option. So try to install the game from library if you see the game over here and then check. Now, if you are trying to install it from Microsoft Store, in that case, you can search the game in Xbox app and then try to install it from Xbox app. Also click on get updates. Now, if there is any update for Microsoft, you will see get updates option. Click on get, get updates and update everything and then you can check. Now, the next step is to run this PowerShell command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this command and then type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you run Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Then click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here and then hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color like this. So if you see any errors in red color, just ignore it and let the process complete. Now, once this is complete, you will see everything in red. Once that is done, you can close this and then you can try to check. Now, still you're facing the problem. You can even restart your computer and then check. Next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache file. Now, for this, go to this location. So open File Explorer and then go to this PC and then open C drive and then open Users folder. Now, open your username folder. Now open app data folder. Now if you don't see app data on the top, click on view 
and then select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see app data open app data folder now open the local folder now open the packages folder and then scroll down and then find microsoft you have to find this windows microsoft windows store and some alpha numeric character so scroll down and find that folder over here so over here you can see microsoft windows store underscore some alpha numeric character open this folder and over here you can see local cache folder so you have to make a right click and then delete this local cache folder and once this is deleted now you can check now still you are facing the problem the next step is to run ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset this will open microsoft store once again and then you can check next step is to repair or reset xbox app or microsoft store so first of all type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app and then click on app settings now on this page scroll down and then you will see the repair option so scroll down and then you will see the repair option repair xbox app and then you can try to check still not working in that case you can perform reset so click on reset reset and after the reset you can check now still you're facing the problem do the same thing with microsoft store so type in store in windows search box make a right click on microsoft store and then click on app settings and do the same thing over here click on repair and once the repair is done you can check still you're facing the problem you can reset reset and after the reset you can check now still you're facing the problem in in that case you can update microsoft store from store library so you can mic open microsoft store and then once microsoft store is open on the bottom left you will see the library option you can go to library and then you will see the get updates or update now option so update everything over here once the update is complete you can check next step is to install xbox identity provider and gaming services now for this copy the first link the link is provided in the video description open this link in the browser it will take you to microsoft website now on this website you will see xbox identity provider click on it and then it will prompt you to open microsoft store so click on open microsoft store and once microsoft store is open if xbox identity provider is not installed you will see install button or get button in my case this is already installed so there is no install button but if you see install button or get button install it now the next again the next step is to uninstall gaming services from the computer so copy this command this command is provided in the video des description now type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell I again open powershell as an administrator and then click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming ser services from your computer and once this is done now copy the second command this command is also provided in the video description and then run this on the same window you can paste the command hit the enter key this will open microsoft store and you will see the install button or get button to install gaming services click on get or install and then click on yes to allow and then let the download complete now once the download is complete now you can check now still you're facing the problem in that case you have to start all these services now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now in the services find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set startup type to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted so if start is highlighted click on start and once done you can make a right click on ip helper click on restart and then find all the xbox services scroll down at the end you will see all these four xbox services make a double click on all xbox services and then set startup type to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok and again make a right click on second xbox services set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again select set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a double click 
set it to automatic and then hit apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic and then hit apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now go to gaming services find gaming services on the list here you can see two gaming services so once you see gaming services make a double click on gaming services uh, make a right click on gaming services make sure it is running if not running make a right click and then click on start or if it is already running you can restart it and again second gaming services you can make a right click on start if start is highlighted or click on restart now if it's already running like this in that case you can stop it and then you can restart it so make a right click and then click on stop again make a right click click on stop and then you can restart it make a right click and then click on start or restart again make a right click and then click on start or restart and once this is done now find Microsoft Store install service. So here, here you can see Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click, set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Now you can check. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. Do not ignore this. So go to Windows Update or Update and Security in Windows settings and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Now the next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command. So type in inet cpl.cpl in Windows search box and go to inet cpl.cpl. Now go to the advanced tab on the top here. You can see advanced. Now scroll down. Here you can see use TLS 1.0, use TLS 1.1, use TLS 1.2, use TLS 1.3. Make sure all four are checked over here. TLS TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3 all four are checked over here now hit apply click on ok and then check now the next step is to try installing it to c drive or different drive so in that case you can open windows settings and then you can go to system and then you can go to storage over here and then over here you can change the storage so click on advanced storage settings and here you can see where new content is saved so you can click on it and now over here, if this is selected to some other drive, maybe D drive or D drive, select C drive and then check. Now, if you, it is already installing in C drive, still you're facing the problem. Now, if you have any other drive, you can change the drive over here. So first of all, try to install it to C drive, change it to C drive. And then once you change it, you will see the apply option. Once you change it to different drive, you will see in front of it, apply option, hit apply. So try to install it to C drive. If that does not work, you can try to install it to different drive and then check. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store and Xbox app. So first of all, you can type in Xbox app in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox app and then click on uninstall. Uninstall. Now once the uninstall is complete, you can open Microsoft Store on your computer. And then in the Microsoft Store, you can type in Xbox app. And then once you see Xbox app, then you will see the install button over here. So you click on install. And once the installation is complete, you can check. Now, still not working. In that case, you can again uninstall Xbox app. So you can just type in, in my case, it is. Uh, now, still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can type in Xbox app, make a right click, and then click on uninstall, uninstall. Now, once the uninstall is complete, you can go to Xbox website. So in the Google search, you can type in Xbox. So type in Xbox app and then you can go to xbox.com, Xbox app for Windows PC. And then on this website, you can scroll down and then install Xbox app from this website. So now you can scroll down over here, you can see download the app option. And once the download is complete, run this exe file. And then follow the on-screen instruction. Just install Xbox app, agree, install it. And after the installation, you can check. Now it's still not working. Do the same thing with Microsoft Store. To uninstall Microsoft Store, you can copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell. And you have to run this as an administrator. And then click on Yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the Enter key. Once this is 
store is uninstalled you can copy the second command this command is also provided in the video description you can restart your computer if you want try to restart it once and then you can run the second command now once you run the second command this will reinstall microsoft store on your computer and you should be able to open microsoft store and then you can check next step is to update your windows to the latest version using media creation tool so if nothing is working you can update your windows using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete Login to your computer. Now, for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also, you will find Media Creation Tool. Click on Download now and then run this exe file. Click on Yes to allow. Now, this will load Windows 11 Media Creation Tool. Now, click on Accept. By default, Windows 11 would be selected. Click on Next. Select ISO file, then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here. Now, once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop, find Windows ISO file, make a double click on Windows ISO file, then run the setup file, make a double click on setup file, click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11. Click on next. It will check for update. Then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install the game successfully from Xbox app or Microsoft store on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.